other ingredients. Yeah, we're using chicken livers and I have about two pounds of chicken livers there that I cleaned and I chopped up into maybe about one inch size pieces. You know, you're looking at chicken livers and you're thinking, way hey boy, I don't know if I'm able. But here's the thing, in the Caribbean, we take pride in knowing we use the entire animal, the entire thing. Well, not so much the head, but from neck all the way down to the toe. Yo, you ever had a good chicken foot soup? Anyhow, it's been washed with the juice of a lemon and water and drained. We've got scallion, we've got thyme, onion, the bottom parts of cilantro, and that is the cilantro I have there. I am using cilantro because I don't have access to shadow benny. I've got some parsley, some chopped up chili pepper, and a scotch bonnet pepper. We'll also need some cumin seed, which is also called jira. Some jira powder, again, cumin, ground roasted cumin. We'll need some anchar masala, head over to your local Caribbean grocery store or shop online for that. We'll need salt, black pepper, and I'm using olive oil. You can use whatever oil you like using. To season this up is very simple. I've got the bottom parts here, more the stalks of the uh, cilantro. If you have the root, you can certainly use the root. It's totally up to you. I've got cumin powder, roasted jeera. I've got anchar masala, and that one is more dark. And these are all roasted. This will give it that, you know, that deep, deep, deep flavor. We're gonna need some black pepper in there. And if you wanted to use Caribbean green seasoning in here, that is totally up to you. Nobody ain't trying to hate on you. I just think using these fresh ingredients Yo, it just makes things a lot nicer. And salt. Full list of ingredients will be listed down below. All I'm gonna do, yeah, the texture of liver is what turns people off. And we don't want this to marinate for long. Maybe about five minutes or so, nothing more. Give that a good mixy mix. And let that sit for about five minutes. Let's crank up the stove now and get things ready. This is very quick, very, very quick. I've got a non-stick pan here on a medium-high flame. I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using a non-stick pan just to be able to cut back on the amount of oil that I'm using. Um, as we've talked before, many of my recipes, the oil you choose to use is totally up to you. First things first, we've got those that cumin seeds. We want to bring out all that flavor from that cumin seeds. I'm just gonna move that around a bit. As we get a little sizzle going, I'm going in with some more of that roasted jira or cumin powder. So you notice it's, well, it, the, the cumin in this, which is the jira, and I'm gonna mix and match which word I use because it's important you guys understand where I'm coming from. My Caribbean, especially Southern Caribbean, will know it as jira. My Indian family over across the oceans there will probably call it jira too, but a lot of people know it as cumin, onion. Scotch bonnet pepper, seeds and everything. This is meant to be a spicy dish, but again, you can personalize it to how you like your food. If you don't like it spicy, you don't have to make it spicy. Because remember, for some people, that roasted cumin or jira is already spicy as it is. Whereas for a lot of people, you're not even getting any heat from that yet. You're speaking about heat, I've got that chili pepper. Now I'm using the stalks and everything here, but to be honest with you, it'd probably be better if you took the leaves off, but I want some of that flavor from the stalk, that is why I'm using it. But be mindful of that, that stalk will be tough later on. So you want to, whoever is dining, you want to make them aware of that. And two, the reason why, the other sort of tip I want to share with you all here, the reason why I cut the peppers large like that is visual. So people, when they're eating, they can see one, it is spicy, they can tell right away, yo, that is pepper in there, boy. And two, they can avoid the pieces of pepper so they're not directly affected by it. In goes the parsley. Give that another stir. And I want to cook that down for about three or four minutes, let everything come together before we add the actual liver. The kitchen is smelling wicked, we've got 
lovely flavor happening here. Everything is starting to soften up. So here's where I'm going to start adding all of that seasoned liver to the pot. Crank the heat up to medium high. Give this a good stir. And we want to quick, quickly cook this. We ain't trying to overcook anything. The liver is notorious for being overcooked, for being bland, for being, yo. There's so many things people complain about liver, but it's such a lovely ingredient to work with. And, you know, if you guys like chicken livers and you want some more recipes, do hit me up in the comments down below, and I'll try to prepare more recipes for you guys using liver. I'm not a fan of beef liver, so very rare you'll ever see me use beef liver. I find it a bit too chemical tasting. It's been going now for five minutes. I'm gonna give it another couple minutes on this. I turned up the heat to high now. I just wanna make sure it's fully cooked all the way through without making it chewy. So yeah, we just gotta finish things up now in a couple of minutes. Here's where you'll taste it for salt and adjust it. Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take me address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. And the final thing I like doing is the green tops of the cilantro goes in there now. Give that a quick mix, mix everything together, and that's how you're gonna finish it up. If you have shadow benny and you want to use shadow benny. Now here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know how to use this, this will be considered bar food or drinking food. You know you're having some adult beverages with your friends and your family, you rock this if you want to put it on on what we call hops bread. Uh, you don't make little sandwiches with it and stuff like that. But it's more or less a snack more than anything else, but it works really well with dal and rice and all that stuff like that. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Jira or cumin chicken livers. Yo, we're using the entire animal with distinction, man. Aye, aye, aye.